Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going through my quarter three empties. This will not be a very long video because if I am totally honest, I have not been as focused on this as I should have been over the last couple of months. But hopefully we will do the video, I'll update my spreadsheets and ideally the numbers will scare me into focusing for the last three months of the year and seeing what we can get out before the end of the year because we are at that point as terrifying as that may be. I feel like 2023 only just started but here we are, we're in quarter four, terrifying stuff, but these are my quarter three empties, so let's get on into them. I will start with the category I've got least of, although technically that's actually perfume because I finished nothing from my perfume category in quarter three, but going from nothing to one, I finished one item of hair care, so this is my Kirastase Nectar Thermique. I won't bore you too much with this because it was actually in my project pan. It's worth $43. I probably won't repurchase this. I just prefer things that I can spray onto my hair and brush through rather than something that I have to put into my hands and work through my hair. And it just makes it a bit easier to put on a bit too much and then I have to go clean my hands, which I realise sounds really lazy, but like just adding that extra step of needing to go to the bathroom, wash my hands and come back, it just puts me off using these kinds of products when I could spray something in, brush it through and get on with the next step. So I probably wouldn't repurchase this more because of the nature of it than because the actual job that it did was bad. It did an absolutely fine job. I'm glad it's done. I've had it for ages. So I'm very pleased that it is now out of my collection. From one to four, I finished four items of makeup in quarter three. My L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Spray. That was in my project pan, so I won't bore you too much with that. It did do a good job, I would definitely repurchase it, and it was worth $16.99. I finished this MAC foundation sample, it was absolutely fine, but if I'm honest, of the newer foundations that I've tried recently, the Guerlain Matte one has been the winner. If I was buying a foundation anytime soon, it would be that one rather than this one. I counted the sample as being worth $5. I then finished this little mini mascara, it's from Chanel, it's the Noir Allure one, it's worth $7. I liked what this did to my lashes but it definitely smudged so if you're a smudger like me, this formula is not for you. Last but not least, I finished my MAC Penny Brow Styler, this was worth $20 and I have already repurchased this. Four items, all together worth $48.99 off of my makeup inventory. On to skincare, which is always my biggest category, from cleansing and toning. I finished two cleansers. First of all, my Drunk Elephant. This was already a repurchase and I would definitely repurchase this again. I can use this over my eyes with no irritation. At the moment, I'm using the Lisa Eldridge cleanser in place of it, so I've not just repurchased this same one. But I really like both of them, and to be honest, like it would be six and half a dozen which one I would repurchase. So really like this, would be very happy to have it back in my life. Worth $34. Also finished this little mini cleanser from the brand Cultured. I think they got this in a Liberty Beauty box. This one was worth $5.92. I felt like the product was a bit too thick. It was quite difficult to squeeze out. However, I've not looked at what the real packaging is if you get the full size of the product. So the real packaging might be better suited to the thickness of this. Packaging types aside, it was absolutely fine. But I would probably repurchase the Drunk Elephant over this one. And then for toner, I finished this Dr. Robux Skin Brightening Toner. This was worth $32. It was fine. I can't really say that I noticed it doing anything in particular, but it didn't irritate my skin either. But yeah, just a bit of a meh product. I finished two serums. So first of all, let's talk about this small one from U Beauty. So this is their resurfacing compound. This little mini size was worth $58.67. And I can't really say that I noticed this doing very much. Now, in fairness to the product, I took ages to use it. I didn't use it particularly regularly. But I feel like if that's how much 10 mils of this costs, I really should have been seeing some kind of overnight results with it, which I wasn't. So I definitely wouldn't be purchasing that one. Also finished a full size of my Kiehl's Hydro Plump Serum. This was worth $78. I have been repurchasing this for years. I've used other hydrating serums, but I feel like the plumping side of this really does work. It really smooths out my skin. I've got another hydrating serum to use now that I've finished this one. And I've started using it and it is fine, but I definitely notice that my skin just doesn't feel quite as plump as it does when I'm using this one so I definitely will repurchase this in the future and will be happy to have it back in my life when the time comes. I finished a retinol from La Roche-Posay. This was worth $57. In contrast to the resurfacing thing from You Beauty, I definitely noticed every time I used this I could kind of see that my skin looked just kind of clearer the next morning. I know obviously retinol is more about lines but I think I really did notice 
the sort of unplugging of pores that retinol does is a nice side effect to it every time that I use this. Definitely would repurchase this. I felt like it was, like it does say it's intensive. Felt the results were intensive but I never felt that my skin was stressed out by this. I didn't get any peeling, I didn't get any reaction so I was really really happy with this. I've got other sample size and deluxe samples retinols to use so I'll be using them up first but I would definitely repurchase this particular one. For eye products, moisturisers and SPFs I used up this Revive eye mask. This was worth $33.33. My eyes are quite sensitive and if ever my skin was feeling a bit sensitive if I used this it was quite nippy so I could only use this when my skin was feeling like the skin barrier was in good shape and whatever. I finished this Laneige Waterbank Blue Hyaluronic Gel Moisturiser. What a long name. <laughs> this was worth $8 for this little sample. Could definitely see me purchasing a full size of this at some point in the future. For SPF, I finished my Super Good Play SPF. This was worth $22. I've used one of these up before. I think I got it in the Cult Beauty SPF box two years in a row. I think that's why I've already used one up. In fact, we got it three years in a row because I think I've got another one to use as well. It's not one I would actually rush to purchase, but when I've had it in the Cult Beauty box, Boxes. I've been really happy to finish it up. It's non greasy, it's not too heavy. There's other ones that I prefer, but this is definitely a good one. No real complaints about any of these. I would be quite happy to have them all again, and I do think the Laneige moisturiser would be really good for like the summer months because it was a really super lightweight one. So, those are my eye cream, moisturiser, and SPF empties for quarter three. On to face masks from Classic Face Masks. I finished Fresh Rose Face Mask. This was worth $25. It feels quite lightweight, but it does definitely deliver hydration face mask. I would definitely have this again, no problem. Also finished up my Origins Out of Trouble Mask. This one was worth $28. Now, I have been using this for years, so I don't want to bore those of you who are regulars around here, but I absolutely love this mask. If I ever have a breakout that is under the surface and kind of red and lumpy but it doesn't have a head on it yet, really really pleasant topic of conversation. But I feel like this mask is just so good at actually bringing things to the surface. I feel like once my spots are actually on the surface, if I've got a breakout, that this isn't really the one that I would go to for them. But in terms of like actually pulling them up from being kind of under the skin to being on the surface and being able to then use other products to kind of get them moving on, this is a really great one. And then from my sheet masks, I used the Patchology Milk Peel Sheet Mask. This was worth $6. I thought this was fine. I enjoyed it. It wasn't oil changing, but I would happily use it again if it was in like a set or something again. And the penultimate category is exfoliators. So I've got two that I finished in quarter three. First of all, I've got the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Exfoliator. This one was worth $25. It's like a deluxe sample size or a travel size. I absolutely love this. This is so effective. I would definitely purchase it again. Once I've worked through the remainder in my collection, this is the one that I will purchase and that I will go back to because it is so effective. However, that is also the danger of it on the flip side. Leave this on for two minutes and the first time that I used it I was a bit blasé I just like kind of slapped it on and I was like oh yeah yeah I'll time it probably left it on for like five minutes like not that I left it on for an extreme amount of time but I could properly tell that I had like damaged my skin barrier afterwards I was really putting on the ceramide cream after that trying to build it back up so it is quite a dangerous one only leave it on for what it says but it absolutely does the job that it promises to do I loved it 10 out of 10 will definitely repurchase. And then a little bit more gentle but a manual exfoliator, not a chemical one, is the Kiehl's Microdermabrasion. This one was worth $41. I really like this. I know some people are so super against manual scrubs. This one's a really fine grit that's in it. It leaves your skin just feeling so smooth. I know chemical exfoliators are really the way forward and are better for your skin but as a guilty pleasure I do just like to have a manual exfoliator in stock that I can kind of go to every so often. I mean, I've had this for about eight years or something. It's not something that I use regularly, but it just hits a certain spot. And I think of all the manual exfoliators I've ever used, this one's the best one. I'll probably repurchase both of these at some point is really what I'm saying. And that is nearly the end of my skincare category, but I did also finish four bath bombs. I took them on holiday with me. Obviously, as they have fizzed away to nothing, I do not have anything to show you, but I do have them in the inventory. I finished them. There were four of them and I got them in a gift set, so I counted them at being worth a dollar each and counted that as four dollars altogether. So that means my skincare empties totaled 17 items worth $452. So in total for quarter three, I finished four makeup items, 
17 skincare items and one hair care item which gave me a quantity of 22 things used. Value wise my makeup that I used up was worth $48.99, skincare that I used was worth $452 and the hair care product that I finished was worth $43. That gives my empties a total value of $543.99 for quarter three. That is everything for this video, thank you very much for watching it, I did say it would be short and sweet and I will see you next Sunday. Bye!